You're about to leave reality and enter the world of fantasy sports. And now, from the Sports Center in East Hampton, New York. Sports! Hello there, good people, and welcome to Sports Talk, make fantasy sports into a reality. I'm your host, Rob Shaw, talking some fantasy football today, my friends. For more fantasy football, baseball, or basketball insight, go go to sports.com. That's S-H-P-O-R-T-S.com. Or you can find us in video at youtube.com slash fanalyst. Plenty of good fantasy football analysis there. All right, let's talk some football for this upcoming week. Plenty of games on Turkey Day, so we have to get ready. We'll start with the Sports Talk stock report, and the first player moving up in value on the bull report is none other than Steve Slayton, the running back over for the Houston Texans. Now, the rookie has been a little banged up recently and also saw some of his opportunities given to Amon Green, but Green is now out for the season, which means Slayton is going to have a chance to get about 15 or more carries per game. That's a huge increase in his value. I would start him from here on out. Steve Slayton is moving on up these days. Next up with the Bear Report, a player moving down in value. This is a short-term situation. Tyler Thigpen having a great run right now for the Kansas City Chiefs in that spread offense, even with Larry Johnson in the backfield. But you have to consider the fact that he's going against the Oakland Raiders this weekend. Raiders aren't exactly a team that scares most people, but consider this. They have knocked off good old... Brett Favre, most recently Jake Cutler, and Jake DeLone put up horrible numbers against them. They happen to be very good against the pass, which means you'll probably see plenty of Larry Johnson in that game and perhaps some struggles from Thigpen. Keep him on your team, just put him on the bench for now, but definitely bench him this week, start him next week. Next up, we're talking about the Traders Report, and a lot of people are active on Leon Washington of the New York Jets. And right now, as much as I love the guy, I think that he's a little overrated. He's better in reality than he is in fantasy. Why? He gets very limited opportunities when it comes to the offense. The guy does plenty of special teams work, and he also does have a couple of big plays once in a while. But when you're talking about a guy who gets single-digit touches per game, there's only so much that he can do for your fantasy football team. You're better off with a guy like Kevin Smith, even Cedric Benson, who's going to get the ball 15, 20 times a game, and more importantly, would get the ball at goal line opportunities. Well, my friends, that is your Sports Talk Stock Report. If you have any questions particular to your fantasy team, go to our forums. That's at sports.com, S-H-P-O-R-T-S.com. Or again, always find us at youtube.com slash fanalyst, where you'll find many creative and talented fantasy football experts. May the sports be with you.